Yesterday we learned how to write facts in our own words, paraphrasing. So today we are ready to finally start researching and taking notes about the subtopics we've chosen for our report. I'm going to be using post-it notes for my paraphrased facts, but you can also use regular paper or index cards, whatever you have available. Each new fact is going to get a new post-it note. So if you're using paper, you want to take some time beforehand to cut that paper into smaller pieces, or you can gently tear it into smaller pieces. Then we're going to be sticking our post-it notes or pieces of paper on a graphic organizer with all of our subtopics to help us organize our research. Let me show you an example. Okay, this is the note-taking organizer that I'm going to use. I've already filled it out with an example topic of soccer that we talked about with subtopics, history, equipment, rules, and teams. And I took some time already and I jotted down some notes. So I read about soccer and I wrote down uh, some facts in my own words. So I paraphrased some things. And I'm just gonna show you how you can organize your notes as you take them. So I'm gonna look at what I wrote. Sheffield Football, Football Club is the oldest team in the world, started in 1857. And then I have to kind of decide, does this kind of goes with history or teams. When I wrote this fact down, I thought it was an interesting one to go with teams. So I would just stick my fact in that box. And then I had another fact about soccer teams. The US Women's National Team has won four World Cups. So again, that'll go in this box. And I'm just gonna stick it right on top. And then when I go later to write my paragraphs, I'll be able to look at all of my facts and peel them apart. So I'm just gonna keep going through my facts and sorting them into the correct box. So you may have noticed I put this fact to the side. 240 million people around the world play soccer. I thought that was really interesting, but it doesn't really fit into any of my subtopics. So I'm just gonna keep it over to the side. You can stick it onto your paper, you can stick it onto the back, um, because that might be something that would be good to use in my introduction or conclusion. And you may have seen me debating on some of these facts uh, where they're going over like the history of some of the rules. So England created the first set, penalty kick started in 1891, and the 1970 World Cup is when they started giving red and yellow cards. And those are kind of like the rules, they're kind of like history. I chose to put them in history, um, but sometimes you might have a fact that kind of fits in both and you just have to decide where you think it goes best. And so this is the organizer that we're going to use. If you aren't able to print it out, you can always just divide a piece of paper into fourths and label them with your subtopics, or if you're only doing three subtopics, then you wouldn't need that fourth box. If you end up using pieces of paper or index cards, you can always tape them into the correct spot, or you can staple them, like once you've stacked them all up, staple them in. You could even write like E for equipment or color code them so you know which facts go with which subtopic. Just something to help you keep it organized so when we draft tomorrow, all your facts are together for that paragraph. What do we do if we find a fact that doesn't fit into one of our subtopics? We won't be able to use every fact that we find. So use a table of contents in a book to help you find chapters or pages with information that fits into your subtopics. And then if you find a fact that is really great, but it doesn't fit, you might be able to use it in the introduction or the conclusion. So save it for later and move back to looking for the facts that you need. I'm gonna look through a book on Epic to find facts about my subtopics. Remember, as you write down your facts, you should be paraphrasing. You need to put the facts in your own words. We want to try to find five or six facts for each subtopic so that we'll have enough to write our paragraphs later. Spend some time now taking your notes. Make sure that you keep your facts someplace safe when you're done working so that you'll be ready to work on your draft tomorrow. I'll see y'all then.